God created the world and everything, God said, it is very good. But people started doing bad things, and God decided to send a great flood of water to wash everything clean and to make it new again. Then God saw a good family. The father was Noah. Noah and his wife had three sons, and they had wives. Noah walked with God. Noah came so close to God, and God came so close to Noah, that Noah knew what God wanted him to do. God wanted Noah to build a big boat called an ark. <clears throat> Noah and his family started to build the ark. The animals started to come from the four corners of the earth. Two by two they came to fill up the ark. When the ark was finished, all the animals were on the ark. It began to rain. The waters came down from heaven. The waters came up from the earth. It rained and rained. At first, it was like any other rain, <laughs> but the rain kept coming. Soon water covered everything. It rained, and it rained. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. But God had not forgotten the creatures on the ark. After 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped. Then God caused a great wind to blow to dry up the water, and the water began to go down. Noah took the dove and held it carefully in his hands. He set the dove forth and the dove flew and flew. Noah put out his hand and received the dove. There was still nothing but water. Noah waited seven days and he set the dove forth again. This time, when the dove came back, it had a fresh olive leaf in its mouth. The earth was green and growing. Noah waited seven days again and set the dove forth. But this time, the dove not come back. It found a home and made a nest and stayed there. The waters kept going down and down until the ark 
rested upon the earth. All the creatures came out of the ark and they were so happy to be home again that they had no choice. They had to say their prayers and try to say how happy they were. They built an altar. gave thanks to God. Suddenly, all the creatures saw a great bow in the sky. It was a multicolored bow. It's a bow you can still see today when it's raining and the sun is behind you. We call it a rainbow. We couldn't get the whole rainbow in the room, but if you have a prism or a piece of cut glass and you look carefully at the light coming through it, you can see a piece of the rainbow. The rainbow was a sign from God that God would never send such a flood upon the earth again. All the creatures started back to the four corners of the earth again and filled them up with life again. Now I wonder what you think the important part of this story is. And I wonder what part of the story you see yourselves in or seems like you. I wonder if there's any part of this story we could leave out and still have story enough. And I wonder what you will do with your work based on this story. You are very blessed. May you all walk closely 